my super productive morning already started with the cleaning. I've had a bit of excitement. I got here, I don't know what I was doing. I've just got a cup of tea, I think. I've got here a carry-on crying. Both of the dogs. But what is happening? Are they having a big fight? I've never heard a noise like it. But it was Chewy. Kevin was up there and said Chewy's on his bed and so making this horrible noise. Like squealy noise. And then of course Coda tries to attack him because he thinks that's not a noise you should make. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. He just tries to bite him or whatever. Not really bite him, but tries to get him to stop perhaps. I have no idea. But that's what the both of them were doing. And every time he moved, he would cry. Thought Kevin was going to take him to the vets, but he's been resting up for like 10 or 15 minutes now. Chris, you know, sat with him and patted him. And then we sort of got him up and he wasn't crying. It was just the crying had stopped every time he moved before they was crying. And he's come down the stairs on his own without crying. It's, this leg's a bit tender. Doesn't, I mean, he'll walk on it and put weight on it. So it's not terrible, but he's not crying anymore. So I think he's just not maybe put a little muscle or pinched a little nerve, but it seems to be settling. So I don't think he needs to go to the vets now which is good because Kevin's got a busy enough day. How's the patient? It's fine. Well, he's not the, he can still do a boing leg, so he's not too bad. He's got a very stinky bottom though. His anal glands are terrible. I reckon that's what maybe he was doing his anal glands. And you can really, Kevin's even got his bed. Tucked. Just the way he's lying there, done. Untuck his tail. Just the way you lay, I moved him up the bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, sorry, cover your butt back up. It's yeah, it's a bit stinky, isn't Stop it, at the, the moment? Stop with the butt. There we go. Well, Chewie suffers with anal gland issues, but he usually fixes them up himself. There we go. Cover the butt. <laughs> but I reckon that's probably what he was doing. He's probably doing something to his, trying to fix his anal glands, and then, I don't know. Well, at least now you get to lie on a comfy bed. Yeah. <laughs> Poor puppy. Oh, he's geez. obviously not himself, as you can tell. He's just lying. He's a bit stunned, like, what the hell happened to me? What happened? I was in a lot of pain. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. It hurt to hear. To me, I'll be But he come down the pain. stairs without crying, so. Yeah. And that's weight on the front legs, so, to come down the stairs. I'm going to go back to sleep, Jumon. I think he's going to be okay. We'll just have a little resty time and see how it goes. At least if he can walk, I can take him to the vet if he needs. No, I can't. I won't have a car. Well, I can take him yeah. to the vet if he needs to. <laughs> see. But it'll probably, yeah, anyway, I think he'll be okay. Mm. As you can see, Bailey has... Bailey, oh my goodness. <laughs> Coda, jeez. Oh, I wish I could talk like a normal person. Kino, slash Chewy, has made his way to the couch. So he's climbed up over the lounge chair and across. He did that without too much trouble. Um, but he's, when he's been trying to move himself like to get in position there, he's been a little bit whiny. So we'll see, he still hurts when he moves in certain positions. We think he's just done something like I do when I put that muscle in my, up my rib cage. So I think I might have said that before. Because it's only better than it was it could have done. So we gave him a little, we can give him some human panadine, some panadol. So we give him a half a tablet of that to help with some pain. And we'll just see. At first of all, we thought Kevin would have to take him to the vet, but I think he's going to improve. So usually those things are just rest anyway, aren't they? So we'll see how it goes. If he's still struggling tomorrow or later on today, if it gets worse, then we'll certainly take him into the vets. But he's getting more comfortable here if we don't have to take him in. So I've just um, finished off a vlog to, I'm just going to export that now. And then I'll see if I can do some cleaning in the kitchen and see if he'll stay here. But if he won't settle, stay settled without me, I'm just gonna have to hang out in this room and do stuff later on. It's a bit of a shame because I'm obviously feeling very good today. <laughs> um, I was up early, which is nice. It means I'm just like it's only 8.30. If he was feeling, if he was up to it, I would have gone for a walk by now. But obviously he's not good today, so. And he'd get chopped, so then I took just Coda. So we we're playing ball with Coda before. I'll just do a few little fetch sessions with him. Uh, so obviously, again, shower, bathroom's upstairs. Chrissy hasn't really got time for me to go, like to wait with Chewy now. So I've just kind of got changed. I've got my exercise clothes down here. So I just put them on. And I'll sleep by having a bath or a shower later on when she gets home later on this afternoon. She might be fine anyway. 
Uh, luckily I had a late shower yesterday, so it's still not been 24 hours since I showered. <laughs> and I washed my hair yesterday. I did want to put some more stuff in it and see how it's gone, but it's not so fluffy. So that's a big thing because the fluffiness was starting to get to me. Uh, I do want to make an appointment for a haircut too, so I should try and get onto that or it's not going to happen before we go to Hawaii, which is two weeks today. Can't believe that. Ugh, it's going to come out so fast. And I can't remember if I mentioned that Kevin's headed off with the minivan. Well, he's going to work this morning, and I think about three o'clock he was going to head up to Gloucester, I think he's going, with the minivan to get it all fitted out. So that's exciting. It's just a shame we're coming into winter and we won't use it over winter because it'll be too cold. <laughs> and it really is just a place to sleep. And obviously we'll have all the kitchen stuff around it, and then we'll got and then whether we'll eat and cook outside. So it's more of a summer, spring, autumn activity <laughs> than in winter. Unless we happen to get some really warm days, which we may do. And if we do, we might try and take advantage of that and go away. But he's still got some more work to do, wiring work, I think he said, when it comes home. So that'll keep him busy for a little bit anyway. And then obviously we're in Hawaii. So we'll see after that, I guess, if we get some a warm weekend. If not, spring will be here before we know it. <laughs> Now, I can't remember also why I'm thinking, if I mention, or if I told you guys already, I'll, when I edit, I will find out what I've told you. But unfortunately, our place is not going to be ready now until November. We've got official confirmation that they're looking at a November completion date. It's so all move-in date. And they call it completion, but anyway. So yeah, we're now hoping we'll be in before Christmas. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame because, as you know, we are very, very keen to get in there, but... On the positive side, it means the, the coder will get to do some more swimming in the pool before we leave. <laughs> so that, that is a positive. I don't tend to swim a lot before Christmas because it's usually a bit cool, but I might try and brave it this year and get in there, depending on the weather, of course. Luckily, we had already decided we weren't going to Vegas this year because obviously that is in November or the end of November, and we wouldn't want to be turning, moving in and having to go away for a few weeks. So it was lucky we'd um, already decided not to go this year, mainly because a flight for myself is just too expensive in um, anything but economy. And that distance, physically, it's a bit hard to go economy nowadays. If we can go to Hawaii, fine, that's about 10 hours seems to be okay. We've done that before, we did that last year and that was fine. But you know, when you get to the 15, 16 hours or whatever it is to, was it more than that to LA, that's a bit far. No, we hear Chewy. That's all Chewy's little cry. You hear your brother crying? Yeah, he must have just, I don't, know, I don't know, he didn't seem to move then, but he must have moved himself. Poor papa. Poor puppy, hey? And then we miss out on our W today, but that's okay. Did we go yesterday? I can't even remember. No, we didn't. Uh, oh, we'll play fetch. You'll be right. We'll play fetch with you. Unfortunately, we went to deal with the washing. He had to come and find me, so I don't know I'm going to get much done today. We'll see, maybe I can set it, get it settled in the kitchen. I just want to get the kitchen finished. But I, um, I thought rather than try and go outside and hang out with the washing like I would normally do, because knowing he didn't want to come out, I thought I'd just um, throw stuff in the dryer and then hang out the stuff that can't go in the dryer. Luckily, a lot could go in the dryer today, which is unusual. Mostly because probably Kevin's clothes. And a few things that mind that I would hang out, I looked and the tag says they're okay to get go in the dryer, so... Fingers crossed, there's nothing precious, so it should be right. Yeah, so he's moved over to his other little bed in here now. And yeah, it looks like I might be spending the day on the couch. Luckily, I have lots to do. Even like the scrapbook pages that I've been scanning, I can get them organized into um, videos and stuff. So I've got plenty I can do online, but I really would like to get the kitchen done. I also want to sort of a recipe folder. So there's plenty I can do sitting around. And hopefully it's in amongst it I can finish off the kitchen and get it mopped and stuff. But if I don't, it'll just wait to whenever I am able to do it. But it's just typical, isn't it, that I feel a lot better today and can do stuff. <laughs> and then something else stops me. But I'm going to have my breakfast now. I'm actually hungry this morning, but I've been awake since. I think from I worked before three, but between three and four, I tried to go back to sleep. And I've dozed on and off. I've got dozed and I wake up again. So I think about 10 to 4, I gave up and thought, I'm just going to get up now. So, which I quite like because I just get more done the day. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. 
Well, I could get a lot done in a day if I didn't have a little patient to look after. Well, I have completed the kitchen. Christy's still got to do the dishwasher, so I've still got a few things to go in there. And I've just got some bleach in the sink because this one in particular was quite a bit stained. So I might need to re put some more on there. We'll see how it goes. It doesn't look like I've done that very well. I was all scratched up. I might just give that going over again. As it comes up better. Anyway, I did the top shelf as well. So, kitchen's done. So I've just got to do the floor next. The one thing about Chewy, he's um, been lying in here on the bed for quite a while. He's quite happy in here, aren't you? I wasn't even in here, I was in the other room. You happy there, matey? You're going to be sad when your personal dog bed goes away. What a good boy. What a good one. I would come in here and sit, but I'm not ready to be in here. <laughs> I'm going to finish my breakfast now. But as you can see, over there is um, almost done. Done most of the albums. So I can get in there and get tidied up, which will be good. sad movie if I look my eyes look puffy I've been crying quite a lot I won't say what it was in case you're not watching it you might not it's a foreign movie but it was really good but I didn't I was not expecting it to be sad I didn't know it was sad and on the description it says drama or romance there was no romance in it I can tell you that and then it's really sad <laughs> so I've had a bit of a cry Anyway, I'm just making a cup of tea now. I'm going to go to bed and read something happier. I'm going to go read a romance. So I get some happiness before bedtime because that was very unexpected. <laughs> Hopefully this little boy will be feeling better in the morning. Oh, I see Coda's camped out by the cupboard. Yeah, I don't know, probably what Mitch told you yet. He's taken to asking, that's what he's asking. Well, he usually like sits there. He's taken to asking for a biscuit or a treat before going to bed. And, Oh, he's so cute when he sits there at the cupboard. <laughs> I've been giving him one. I actually just ordered some more for him because he finished the last of the biscuits that he was eating. But if you I'll probably get him something little from there because he's just so cute. <laughs> I'm a bit of a sucker. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> He's frozen. Why are you frozen? You're not frozen. Is your tail wagging? Is your tail wagging? Good boy. Oh, Chewy, you seem so sad, mate. You're so sad. Oh, Chewy. They said they needed to know the dimensions of the IMAX, but that's exactly the same vehicle they've got here. So I guess they just measured theirs. 
This is the before pictures of our van. It's all nice and empty. It's almost clean. Got some cables running through there just to keep them out, out of their way. Oh, under in. Um, and we've got other big cables coming down here, which is the solar panels and all that stuff. All that's already done on the roof. And this is, um, yeah, hopefully it'll look a bit better this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon when it's finished. Good morning. Got a new head wrap. Hopefully it does seem to work better actually. It came with all my hair, the new shampoo and conditioner and products that I got the other day. Anyway, I'm not feeling great this morning, okay. I don't know what's going on with my fibre at the moment. It was a bit more predictable than it's been. So, I just had a shower though because I wanted to wash my hair and I didn't really want to have a bath because it just takes a long time to have a bath. So anyway, I've had my shower. I'm going to have my breakfast now. I've got some overnight oats. I've got a few things out in the kitchen that I want to take on the bench that I want to take care of. I want to grind some flax seeds. Sort of I've got Kongs to fill. Some dog um, training treats to cut up. And there's dates there to remind to cook some to cook to make some bliss bulk. So that's kind of the what I want to work on today. And then maybe my desk or the pantry. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I am going to take the doggies out. Um, just even for a little walk. Might be a slow little walk. Maybe just down to the first pond or something, which would be like a 15, 10 or 15 minute walk. But I want to get them out since I didn't get out yesterday. Chewie's still pretty sooky. He's I think it's slightly better yesterday. He's not crying as much, but he's got a very gurgly tummy now. So he's obviously not, not feeling the best. I think if you're off a little walk, I'm sure he will enjoy that. So yeah, I have breakfast. I might try and, I don't know whether I'll do that first or after I do these things. I'll try and do these things first and then take them out for their walk. And if that's all I do, that's all I do. Just, um, well, there are plenty of things I can I can do without being physical. I've got downstairs cleaned except for the surfaces besides the kitchen. So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, things will just get done when they get done. <laughs> I'm trying not to stress over it. If the house is tidy, that's a big thing. And obviously I know like things like the kitchen are clean. I'm going to just quickly do the toilets and stuff. Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot more on top of things than I was like a week or so ago. Which is good because I was feeling quite overwhelmed. I think I mentioned that, even though it's just me being. I need things tidy. <laughs> even if they're not super clean, I need them tidy. <laughs> I'm out my walk with the puppies. Chewie's done himself still, so I'll make it definitely a slow walk for him in case his tummy is really bothering him. He didn't run away, he wanted to come, I assume, but. <laughs> We'll just take it nice and easy. And for me too. But <laughs> um, for both of us. <laughs> We've eaten his breakfast finally. That's a good sign. We did it dinner last night, but. His breakfast has been out for a number of hours now and he wasn't interested. My new coder hasn't touched his breakfast either. But it's good that Chewie wants to eat after his little walk. He enjoyed that to get some fresh air and get some smells. Not that he did a lot of sniffing, but I didn't want to push it. And I actually felt pretty yuck in the tummy after that little walk. And do a few little jobs that I've little tasks to do here and, and then that'd be good. At least the kitchen's nice and tidy for the support we're coming today. It's unusual. I want to cook some pasta, so nice and plate for their dinner tonight too. Especially for this one to have a nice plain dinner. Here we go, all finished. I did enjoy it, even though it was a bit challenging. <laughs> it was still a good one. Tonight's dinner, I just got some pasta left over from the dogs that I kept aside for my dinner. And I found uh, lentil, vegetable, bolognese, I guess, in the freezer. So I'm just having that with some savoury yeast flakes. It's going to come and go the way because I do get to use up odd things that are in the freezer <laughs> that he's not a huge fan of. 
but it's um, obviously a very healthy bolognese sauce. <laughs> I do not like what this changes in my morning. How it is now taking me most of the morning before I feel all good. I'd like to let it like go now, it's nine o'clock, take the dogs on their walk, but I am not feeling up to it. So I think I will progress from watching YouTube videos and I'll start doing more productive things online. Like I've got to do a final check on that photo book. Or I can edit some videos. I've got lots that I can do online that I okay, guess better light. That is, you know, things that need done that it's productive at least rather than just enjoyment. And then I think when I get up I'll, I'll um, go back to do it. Try and iron a few things. Ironing's I think my priority today. If I was feeling good, besides the dogs, it was gonna be ironing and dusting downstairs and upstairs because some areas are very dusty because they haven't been done for, mm, I was going to say weeks, but it's probably well over a month. <laughs> um, like the bedside, the dressing table upstairs, because Kevin had it covered in stuff. So it's probably been months since it's, since it's been done. So, but if I don't do it today, okay, I can do it tomorrow. That's fine. But I want to make a start on the ironing because there's quite a few of my clothes in there that need ironed. So we'll get started on that, try and do a few things every time I'm up and just see how the day goes. I don't have to do a lot. You might hear um, noise in the background, the lawnmower guy's here, but he's doing the hedges out the front at the present. So I have to go do another pickup of the dogs. I did that yesterday afternoon, so it's probably not too bad. What's out there? I just wish I could go for the walk now. See, I really need to go for my walk before I have my shower. Unless I'm just doing a slow walk, which I don't know yet. <laughs> what kind of speed walk it's going to be. Yesterday it would have been fine. Maybe I'll, do, maybe I'll go have my shower because I can often feel a lot better after a shower. So yeah, I think, okay, let's do that. We'll go have a shower. Then I'll see. <laughs> I could change the game when I come home if I need to, if I'm that sweaty. <laughs> I want to do my stretching too, so I haven't done any of that for a while. That sort of goes with the walk though. Mm. I had a, a quite a nice little routine going there and it's just got mulled up with my mornings just taking so much longer. And I'm a morning exerciser. I find it very hard to do in the afternoon, but I'll have to try and start doing my stretching when I come home. From a walk, whenever that is. Stupid body. Highly advise, don't get fibro. Probably advisable not to get any chronic illness or disease. Let's go to shower. I've had my shower. What shall I do? feel any much better. So I'm going to have my breakfast now, a cup of tea and then I'll see. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take any more pain meds because it's not that critical a day and I don't like how much I've been having to take. Just sitting, not in my normal spot, you can probably tell because the TV's behind me. I'm just playing a bit of fetch with Coda Bear. Chewies. He's lying there. He's not interested. I think if I had another tennis ball, he'd probably play, but I can't find one ball, of course. Oh, there, I think a few of them are outside. So, I'm still not feeling great, and I was just um, doing some ironing. So, I've got through quite a bit of ironing. I've still got more to do. I've probably done about half of it now. I mean, it's one o'clock, so I've been working out every time I get up to get another drink or the bathroom or just for whatever reason I've been getting up. Uh, yeah. So then I still thought Kodo and knew, knew the donkeys were a bit bored, so I thought, well, I'll play a bit of fetch with him. I'm still hoping to take them out later on. Like I've sort of up to four o'clock even. So I'll see. <laughs> but this is just to 
Again, we'll be really interesting because the house is pretty closed up today too because the lawnmower guy's here, so it's quite noisy outside. But he's a he's a happy little chappy when he plays his fetch. You a happy chappy when you play fetch? You just love it. I don't think he knows it's not that no. It's, it's a lot better again. Every day is a lot better, but he's still just not. Obviously, he's not interested in playing. Usually, we'd go and attack Coda and take the ball off Coda. But he's just happy to watch. <laughs> I had a toy that was trying to get him interested, but more interested in watching Coda today. Done. He went and laid down because he's had enough, but of course, as soon as I pick up the ball for Chewy, then he's got to get back in it again. And Chewy doesn't really get to have much of a turn. You were done, you were finished. You're obsessed. My family album is ready to save the book first. And it's got to export it, then I check it again, and then I can order it, I think. You can probably tell <laughs> we are not getting out for a walk. I've been feeling just not good all day long. I feel like this is really windy week, this vlog. My co wants to play ball with me again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was really hoping that by some stage I'd be filling up to it, but that has not happened. Oh, that's a great fun. We're going to start working on a jigsaw puzzle for a little bit to just do something a bit different away from the screen. Now that photo book's finished and that'll probably be that for tonight, really. Cameron's not going to get home to about 7 o'clock, so he's going to grab some dinner for himself on the way home. Um, so I want to do the potatoes and stuff that I would normally have for lunch and do them for dinner. I'm actually a bit hungry because I just had a wrap for, for lunch with some lentil patties and salad stuff. And I just don't think Kim is fools when I have the potatoes for, for lunch. So I'm a bit peckish, but I think if I get a cup of tea and go and do my jigsaw, that would take my mind off things. I don't tend to eat or want to eat when I'm doing my jigsaw because my mind gets very focused on doing my jigsaw. So that's probably a good move. Just get this thing exporting properly. Um... Yes, okay, it's going now. So I'll do that for a bit, I think. I've done, I have done most of my ironing. I've just got a few pairs of pajamas to iron. So yeah, nearly everything's done. I can show you. Uh, not too much for Kevin. Got stuff there and I have things up there. Oh, I haven't ironed that dress. I mean, it's a little going over. Oh, I've got another dress and yeah, just some summer pajamas, which I'm not going to need for a while, and just a pair of winter pajamas. And a few things there that got ironed. That can wait till tomorrow as well. Kevin's got lots of work to do on the mini on the minivan, so the next couple of weeks I will have a bit of a free time. Mr. Dakota Bear was making his little nest on this earlier today. Oh, those towels do not look dry. I've got to put them for a bit longer. 